Hello everyone, welcome to this short introduction to electrical engineering and computer engineering. Two overlapping fields that you will be very interested in if you are planning to innovate for the future. Uh, here I am going to play a very short video that introduces the two fields. Electrical and computer engineering encompasses a range of fields that form the backbone of our modern digital economy. At NEWS, we offer two degree programs in electrical and computer engineering. Students on both programs get to work on projects covering themes from Internet of Things and autonomous systems to energy, sustainability, and smart healthcare. Some students have even designed and built satellites that have been actually launched into space. From the processors that power our mobile phones to autonomous vehicles and augmented reality, electrical and computer engineers are behind the most transformative innovations. Electrical engineers create technologies from tiny microchips to electric vehicles to nationwide power grids that use electricity and electromagnetism. Computer engineers build intelligence into ever smaller, smarter, and more powerful devices that enrich modern life. At NUS Electrical Engineering, there are a lot of opportunities for hands-on learning. For example, the lab modules in which we build and experiment with electrical circuits really help me understand and appreciate the theory. There are also a lot of opportunities to learn different coding languages skills that are highly sought after by employers. NUS ECE offers many focus areas for you to develop your strengths and interests. For two years, I was president of the ECE Undergraduate Student Council. There, I developed my leadership abilities, organizing school events such as the internship and career fair. Through the modules I've taken, I've learned various skills critical to the AI field, such as machine learning and natural language processing. These skills are highly relevant in the career that I'll be pursuing after graduation. At NUS ECE, students plan their education to match their interests and career aspirations. We combine a strong emphasis on learning the fundamentals with a high degree of flexibility mixing education, business and research opportunities. Our students can also embark on various industry tracks and specialisations from AI and data engineering to robotics, as well as in exchange programmes and entrepreneurship opportunities at NUS overseas colleges. Electrical and computer engineering opens up a world of discovery, preparing you for careers that are full of exciting challenges. ECE graduates work in fields such as research and development, design, manufacturing, banking, management consulting, and software development. Some alumni have even launched their own businesses that find innovative ways of applying electrical and computer engineering technologies. Our programs are designed to develop a versatile engineers primed and ready to work at the cutting edge of the digital economy and the smart nation. Join us for an inspiring university experience, preparing you for an exciting career that innovates for the future. Electrical engineers and computer engineers are at the forefront of innovation. They have shaped the past and they are powering the future. Now, some of the past contributions uh, have led to pioneering breakthroughs that transformed the 20th century. For example, the powerful computers that we use today consist of billions of transistors, tiny transistors. And we live a much longer and healthier life thanks to all the advances in diagnostic imaging and lasers, which were again powered by electrical engineering and computer engineering. And the current century technological advances, uh, for example, the mobile and digital revolution that we are seeing, uh, mobile devices, robotics, wireless communications, all are underpinned by electrical engineering and computer engineering. And of course, the buzzwords that everyone is talking about these days, AI, quantum computing, data security, all of them are very intimately connected to electrical engineering and computer engineering. 
And electrical and computer engineers have shaped the big things, uh, like for example, AI, autonomous vehicles, renewable energy, all of which are very critical uh, to the, a sustainable future and are driving the innovation and technological revolution that we are experiencing. Now, electrical and computer engineering spans a very wide scale, all the way from nanoscale transistors uh, that power our phones and computers, all the way to systems that span tens of thousands of kilometers, for example, satellite systems and power grids. Now, in NUS electrical and computer engineering, you experience unlimited learning pathways. We have a very comprehensive primary major core for both electrical engineering and computer engineering, covering all the necessary fundamentals in great depth. And then you have a wide range of technical electives, uh, which allows you to go deeper into the fields of interest. You have numerous specializations and a wide range of second majors and minors that you can choose from. Uh, so you can have a very solid foundation from your common curriculum and then you build on that knowledge with a deeper knowledge of your primary major, electrical and computer engineering specific subjects. And then you have a space where you can craft your own degree. For example, you can deepen your interest and knowledge in fields like robotics, IoT and become a smart device developer. Or if you are interested in health technology, you could take a minor in public health along with potentially a second major or minor in computing, design and engineering so that you can become a health tech engineer. So it's a very flexible curriculum. Uh, you can see that we have numerous spe specializations uh, like IoT, Internet of Things, uh, Robotics, uh, industry 4.0, uh, advanced electronics, uh, satellite and space technology, uh, sustainable electric transportation, which is only for electrical engineering. And then we have a minor in data engineering, which is also very popular among electrical engineers and computer engineers, where you can learn how to deal with large amounts of data, process them at scale. Now, we have an exciting new second major or minor, which is applicable for electrical engineering, where students are prepared to be next generation engineers and designers. It aims to equip students with interdisciplinary knowledge and skills in computing related to design and, en and engineering. Now, our students have come up with very exciting projects after building solid fundamentals and deepening their knowledge. Uh, an example project would be what uh, one of our recent graduates, Rishabh, did. He is now the CEO and founder of Hybotics, uh, which is a company that is building robots to clean toilets at a commercial scale. Okay, And they have managed to uh, attract very good funding and has uh, attracted a lot of attention from the media uh, as well as the industry. Now, it's not just about work and it's not just about learning uh, technical skills in ECE. Our students also get to experience a lot of interesting extracurricular opportunities, activities, and they all have an exciting student life. Now, our students do a lot of innovative stuff, that is, develop real-world projects, participate in hackathons, uh, attend technical workshops. They themselves organize all these stuff. And uh, they also have a lot of networking and leadership opportunities. Uh, for example, students organize uh, internship and career fair, which we had uh, just a few days ago. Uh, they, in, they organized a uh, freshman party again a few months back, uh, as well as graduation party uh, every year when the graduating cohort uh, says bye to us. With electrical and computer engineering, you can't go wrong when it comes to career prospects and career opportunities. 
Many of our graduates have gone on to do very interesting stuff in their careers. I'll give a few examples. Uh, we have Brian, who is a recent graduate, uh, who is now an engineering and management associate at SMRT, hopefully uh, working to ensure that our trains don't break down. And then we have Shih Tzu, uh, who is a good friend of mine, who is now uh, a medical student at Duke NUS uh, Medical School. And in fact, she is helping me co-supervise uh, some school students to do interesting projects, which is at the intersection of engineering and medicine. And we have uh, Sin Yu, who is now a software engineer at Google. And then we have Chin Tian, uh, who is now a robotics engineer at HTX Home Team uh, Technology. And uh, these are just four examples, but the number of possible careers and opportunities are virtually endless. You can see some of them here. Uh, for example, you could go on to become an IC design or verification engineer. Uh, you could become a smart device developer. You could become an electrical or electronics engineer in the industry. You could become a full stack developer. You could become a health tech engineer. And a number of our students, when they graduate, go on to be engineers in the manufacturing or semiconductor in industry and so on and so forth. And some of the employers that uh, we have are the best of the names in the industry. Uh, we have students working in all the big names like Google, Exxon Mobile, uh, go various government or semi-government agencies, Micron, Intel, AMD, you name it. Now, uh, some of our alumni have gone on to do uh, very interesting stuff building multi-billion dollar industries like uh, Tio Suiyan, uh, who is one of the founders and the uh, president and CEO of Espressive Systems. Some of you might have heard about ESP series chips, uh, which are the chips that are powering many of the smart devices that you see around. Okay, it's a multi-billion dollar company. And then we have Darius, uh, who is a founder and CEO of 99.co. And if you are interested in real estate, I'm pretty sure this is a familiar name to you. And the third one is Carousel, uh, which was co-founded by Lucas. And I'm sure all of you have used it before. Okay, it's a very popular e-commerce marketplace in Singapore. Now, if you come in as an electrical engineering student, there are some pretty interesting study awards. For example, we have Shannon Study Award, uh, which is a fairly good amount, 15K. 7.5K in year one and 7.5K in year three, uh, for which, of course, you need to have good A-level, poly, and IB results. And you must be, of course, a citizen of Singapore. Uh, this award is named after Claude Shannon, who is the father of information theory. Okay, one of the theories that underpin a lot of technological developments, a lot of different subfields within electrical and computer engineering. Now, our graduates have been doing pretty well uh, from the perspective of employment. Uh, electrical engineering has one of the highest uh, salaries of any discipline, especially any engineering discipline, and so does computer engineering. Uh, the results of graduate employment survey tells you that, well, the numbers are attractive. Now, if you wish to know more about our programs, please do visit uh, cde.nus.edu.sg uh, bar ECE and you can scan the QR code to, which will lead you to this web page and you can also visit the CDE admissions page uh, which has more videos as well as more material which might help you decide which field you want to venture into and if you have any questions which requires personalized attention please do join our telegram group where we have a number of helpful staff and students who will be glad to answer your questions. Thank you.